Hello. Hello. We're back live. No. Had a lot of technical difficulties here, but uh, we are indeed back live. Ah, oh, zero viewers. That's great. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. I know I'm currently getting everything uh, reset up here, but um, you want to be a. Okay, we are going straight back to the scrimmage. I'm, I'm yet to know the score. Uh oh. I want to see that. Okay, let's put top left stream on. It looks like oh, we are going back to being the guy here. It looks like it's 6-3 case. Alright, alright. Okay, we are getting a bit glowing balls, but it is 6-3 case, and uh, still Horlick is in the lead, so... Let's, uh, let me just go... Let me just go, uh, change the score real quick. Done. Here you go. <clears throat> okay, so... <coughs> All right, we're best still a new bunny. They've gone on for quite a bit here. Um, it is a four six cases right here. Uh, cases um, cases favor here. The sixty seconds remaining for Horlick to get back onto uh, gaining the second point there. Lodgy three gets Pandu there, at that there, or at that point. So let's see, they uh, Pandu is down here. So let it roll there. Looks like they've dived. Looks like there goes the uh, gravity or <laughs> okay. Earth Shatter there by uh, Korlik, but it does barely anything. There goes the um, there goes Dragon Strike from Horlick's side. It looks like Bebop Two is right in the this th th thick of things here. Definitely, um, definitely a risky risky dive on there, but it does go down by Logi and uh, Payload has reached point two. They have fifteen seconds left to get there. Aerial J holding a Bob here. Definitely want to uh, hold that until zoning tool. They have to keep them off. There's 10 seconds remaining. Can, can Horlick get to that point, or does Case take the map here? <clears throat> so, uh, right now, Aerial J throws dynamite, but it's getting eaten out by the. There goes the Bob there, so he's definitely doing a lot of zoning tool. It does contest. Looks like it's overtime. There goes the. Um, <clears throat> there goes uh, Valkyrie from Case Legends here. And there goes the beat. The beat. Extra health from. From Dr. Smiley, Vitamin does go pull out Dragon Blade and does take down a lot of them. Critical uh, Vitamin does get eliminated though. But due to M the Man revives Dr. X Lunatex maintain. It looks like uh there's the um the Dragon Strike from Pundu here. Mr. Smiley takes down M the Man. Logi does take down Dr. Luz takes Logi takes down Pundu. Want card takes both down critical hit and critical hit and that or and um <coughs> Beep Babu. Can they make it to the point? Looks like they're getting a lot of um. A lot of pressure it looks they're getting straight to the point. I think he's gonna go overtime 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 where they all have a minute. It looks like um <clears throat> who who changed? <laughs> it looks like someone changed to uh a Dr. Xloon changed into Hammond here. It looks like a, there's a nano right here. It does take that there's the uh, air shatter here. But dude needs to get on the point, it is continuously being contested. Pandu taking quite a bit of damage and it's a lot of stress and Horlick does take the overtime there and it was a team kill so definitely uh definitely getting um, that stress off right there. It's six to six, both of them have a minute remaining now. So again, sorry for the technical difficulties, people. Um I don't know what happened. I got kicked from Overwatch and then the launcher and then my entire PC froze up and the stream died. So yeah, I had a bit of technical difficulties. I'm sorry you guys had to experience that, but we are back. So pog. Looks like <clears throat> looks like Case Legends are attacking first while Horlick High School is you know, staying back here, getting the defense line going on strong, strong and ready. Looks like um, Horlick is going uh, dive comp for defense. So it looks like they're just trying to dive straight on top of um, straight on top of the team to make sure that they do not be able to uh, keep uh, keep that um, keep 
pressure going or um you know the push towards uh the point because they only have a minute left which is not very much time in this match let's move to be let's move to uh dr x lunatics he's playing monkey or winston here so they're going straight there pandu does ditto um and doesn't ditto this round but uh does go his signature character looks like there's the dive straight on point it looks like two dive characters versus two dive characters it's absolutely crazy here a lot of matches going down ariel j takes down vitamin dust definitely a big uh, component there because then uh, they are down a character and that, that takes a long time to get back to the point 30 seconds remaining already guys okay so just gonna have to do something drastic here critical hits being healed right now critical hits taking a brunt of a damage along with <coughs> like pun dude and Dr. Xun just goes in. There goes the demacking of a wild card there. That's a big play there. And they all jump onto the point. Looks like Vitamin Dust does go down here. They're contesting points. Two, three on the point. There you go. There goes the mecha activated. Jojo Mac does go down. Uh, it looks like uh, Kate Horlick's Winston's Primal Rage comes out and basically knocks up a bunch of people back. Wild card and Monkey 3 go down to punch a critical hit here. And it looks like Case Legends do take the first point. That's a absolute crazy play there. It was a mosh pit, definitely. We're um we're now seeing how uh, Horlick will probably uh, have to take the the pressure here. So Bundu is a little pushed up here, trying to make sure you could see everything. Ariel J is in the back, as you could see. Let's switch on over to her. He definitely has the EMP ready, so that dive, a dive right now. Looks like there goes the dive. There's, there goes the hack. There, everyone is hacked. Monk thirty th critical hit goes in for the uh, the diva ult, basically a giant nuke. Uh, wild cards mech does go down now. Why? Uh, Mr. Smiley goes down. Aerial J critical hit does take down wild cards mech and wild card himself. Logi three just dives off the map, maybe to avoid uh feeding into the enemy lines here. Aerial J and uh critical hit do um amazing job of getting that EMP um, you know, going there. They do get to the second point, making it. And oh, the Winston does join. Oh, it looks like the Winston's gone nano here. Does get hacked, and there's the Diva ult there. It gets uh one person, uh from Doctor X Lunatics and Logic Three Days take down um does take down uh there. But Doctor Smiley or Mister Smiley takes down critical hits mech there, so it's a D mech Diva here. Do, uh, Errol J does get a hack on somebody, but uh, I can't. I'm not able to see. Mr. Smiley does eliminate him. Monk 33, and there goes the match. Round five does complete with one point to Case High School. It was indeed a good round. Six to seven with a minute remaining. Case is gonna have to pull some drastic cards out of their their hands here to um, make sure that um, Horlick does not capture point one. And if they do, they would have to reach at least this point right here. As you can see, to win the match and to get um, 2 0 above case. I think we're in double double overtime here. So um, let's just uh, keep a little vantage point on the stream. How are you guys doing? Can we get some people talking in chat? I would like to see that. Sorry, but sorry again for the technical issues. There you can see Case Legends um, be coming on the point. Looks like they have a, a Mercy as always. Pun dude as um right, uh Pun dude goes from from uh, Genji to uh, Junkrat here. Critical hit does go to Sigma. So double shield. Beep up boop more as always. Ariel J as Ash and uh, Doctor X Loon takes as Reinhardt. So they're doing a double shield comp here. A lot of spread damage here. To switch over to pun dude here here we uh, here we go let's see the official clash here looks like um Hoylik is moving the right side here maybe uh looks like they're going up top up top of a balcony there looks like the there goes the initial class there Trap has been triggered. 
Hunter saves himself from a near death experience here. Thirty seconds remain. It's f uh, case cases managed to keep everyone down. Let's go switch over to someone else. Critical hit takes down Laji here, but critical uh, Laji takes down uh, Ariel J. Ariel J or Beep Boot does get rest here. Definitely need the supports here. Contestant point one is on the point currently, and that's wild card I'm about to be two. Jojo Mac does go down to critical hit. Pandu does take down Monk thirty three. It goes into an overtime right now. A wild card is on the point. Wild card does go down. Lodge is about to be taken down here. Definitely has to keep on the point here. Uh, Mr. Smiley does go down. Reinhardt is going to do some tactical reconnaissance here. And Monk 33 does go down. And Case does win the match here. Definitely be able to uh, keep make sure that um make sure that they could not capture the point. So it is a one one here game here. Play of the game does go to Monk thirty three. Definitely a great to see. It looks like it's the uh, the ending part when he gets nanoed. Definitely the, we've seen this part here. Wow, that is crazy. Definitely a crazy game right there. All right. Well, we will be going into escort for our next um, next game mode here. Uh, and it's the second half of what you saw from hybrid. It's basically attackers attempt to move a payload to different points throughout the map here. The defenders try stopping it uh, throughout the three points. Player swap sides and whoever wins moves the payload farthest wins. Each point is basically a payload like milestone. Um <coughs> Wait, um so um they move the payload straight from the bat instead of having to capture a point. There's uh, about six maps, which uh, is a bit uh, more than um, more than usual, or more than the uh, others are. Um, while we're here, I'm going to uh, put our um, official varsity schedule for the Uisa League. Next week, Wednesday, we face uh, Elkhorn. Then the following week, Wilmot. Appleton East, Union Grove Park, and Bayport for the following weeks. We will have scrims randomly pop up, but I mean, uh, you'll definitely be uh, <coughs> you'll definitely be definitely be notified. Um, you know, it's great to see um, good to see everything you know going on here. Uh, Case is currently two zero on the league as we be Arrowhead and Horlick. Uh, hopefully, Case can go 3-0. That'd be definitely amazing to see. Looks like they're choosing Route 66, and what Route 66 is for... Um, what Route 66 is, it's basically basically um, like a, like an American cowboy type map here. Definitely, uh, they have a cafe, they have the robber train robbery, you know. They have the, uh, the little... Like, the rest stops. You have the uh, the gar garages. Definitely, um, definitely really cool. <sighs> uh, you know, it's a slow day for me, and my co-host is usually helping me talk. You know, but shh, I don't have him here. Looks like Crazy Crafter does get subbed in for. It's crazy crafter does get subbed in for Bebop Boot. Uh, crazy crafter is Luke. Luke Navin play support. Uh, on screen you see Lucio Brugge and Baptiste. Definitely uh, his main characters. And instead of uh, Ariel J, we do have Raiden. We have uh, Miguel Soto. He plays DPS, mostly a Reaper. The two wielding shotgun bad boy here on screen he plays Sombra and McCree. Definitely, uh, definitely a crazy, crazy composition. Everyone on this team for Case Legends is absolutely going strong. Looks like the match is beginning to start here. So let me just uh, go straight to the screen practice here. Root, guys, it's Root sixty six. And uh, as you can see, this is what I'm talking about here. This is what I'm talking about. Um, you have the train robbery here, and you get a little uh, rest stop here. You know, get the deadlocks, deadlocks, deadlocks gorge here. You know, I'm stuttering a bit. Sorry about that. 
get into this this weird looking bunker thing which basically just zoink it goes into another town like there's an inn there's a saloon you got the garage and then it goes into this um goes right around here and then goes kind of uh kind of back here into this weird bunker base kind of deal it looks like a looks like a robbery it's part of a it's, it's part of lore but i mean you know still So Case Legends is um defending right now. So um it looks like a uh, Horlick is going on the attack for the first round of this escort game. We are expecting uh Case's captain for a bit. Absolute crazy mercy. I haven't haven't seen a crazy mercy ever except this one right here. It's absolute monstrosity of a good player here. Uh, definitely damage boosting the Genji here. Genji could do a lot of burst damage in a uh, single moment. Looks like a the K or Horlick Winston dive straight on the uh, straight on the back line here, but is getting extremely um, low here. Has to push in with the team. Looks like the Diva was also there, but uh, gets hooked by um, critical hit. Critical hit does take down Vitamin Dust from midair. Looks like Lodgy Lodgy gets invited down, but Ray takes Mr. Smiley down here. Looks like Dr. X Loon takes does or invited gets re, uh, revived, and Pundu does take down Lodgy three. Looks like uh, they uh, case or Horlick case has successfully backed off Horlick in the attack, and only got into thirty six meters here. That's absolute, absolute, absolute crazy, guys. Absolute crazy. I'm just gonna say absolute crazy when I don't know what to say. So here we are. <clears throat> um, it looks like a uh, Hammond and Winston, so definitely uh, aggressive pushing here. Oh, invited inside seems kind of standing still here. I don't know if he's playing the I'm AFK game, which is a good strategy. I mean, doesn't keep him. All right, so invited does get Discord, meaning he cannot receive that much heals here, but he still gets healed anyways because M the Man has pulled out Valkyrie, which is um, oh pun. Pun dude goes on a crazy rant only for invited to you know sweep it up here. Well, it does get pushed back extremely far here. Looks like looks like invited's doing a little sneaky deaky hidey hidey. Does get a uh, does get straight dived on, so he has to run away and he does get pu uh, pulled down here. Ray does have Death Blossom, which is a shotgun circle of death here, if you guys didn't know that. He's about to jump down and he does pull it out. Gets one, gets two, Mr. Smiley, but uh, Elaji gets killed. Elaji pulls out the uh, high noon here. Crazy Crafter is currently holding a nano, which is the biggest buff in the game. And the man does revive Pun Dude, so it's a bit slow here. Looks like um, Vitamin does Ditto's Pun Dude's Genji here. Right now, um, Horlick hasn't been unable to stay on that point here. <clears throat> a bit slow moments here. Let's uh, let's switch our sides to maybe uh, rated here. Oh, well, you know, let's do critical hit. He's actually crazy here. <laughs> Absolute crazy guys. Critical hit just taken down the um the shield here, so he, it does go down. Critical hit's gonna try uh misses the hook here, but uh diverts the attention there. Sixty seconds do remain, and uh Horlick is yet to uh. Looks like the nano blade does come out. Pandu takes down one, but uh, Monk thirty three takes down another. Critical hit is missing a bit of his shots here, but it uh, looks like forty seconds do remain. Uh, Pandu takes down Mister Smiley. Critical hit is, you know, I'm playing a lot here. He's just taking down the shield. Critical hit is going to have to move back as uh, Horlicks McCree and um, Horlicks McCree. Lonji here is doing a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, pressuring here. But he's being, you know, taking a lot of pressure from uh, from the uh, cases Pundit here. He does do a lot of damage. And he does obtain high noon, so he's just going to wait for that. He does know that uh, he's going to go back line, do a little high noon here. Trying to take, he does take the crazy crafter down, so there goes three people. 
Looks like um and the man revives Crazy Craft. Raided uh does go down. Logi takes down Crazy Craft yet again. Pandu does go down. Looks like Raided is having to uh escape here. He's just playing ring around the rosy Critical hit here on the back line here, being uh absolutely taken down by Logi here. Looks like Pandu a critical hit does take down Logi. A bow vitamin does take down Raided. It looks like Invited is going as fast as possible, but uh diverts his attention, you know, it's fruitless here. Maybe they can take it. Uh, someone's contesting. Critical hit's still contesting on the point. Looks like he does do a lot of damage here to somebody here. He's contesting on the point here. He's getting a little focused here. He's uh he's moves down here. That's crazy crafter here. Looks like uh, there's the diva bomb. Barely misses it. Logi does get taken down by a uh, crazy crafter. Uh, invited does get revived, so he's back in the game here. A good clean wipe would kill them all, uh, or win the match for, or win the first map here. A uh, vitamin does go down, though, but a uh, vitamin does go down to uh, rated as he takes down crazy crafter. Invited takes down the me mech for diva, and it looks like, uh, it looks like Horlick is unable to um take one point in this map here. So let's see how well Case fares against Horlick when the sides are flipped. Uh, guys, what would you think of that? I thought that was absolutely crazy. I mean, if you know what you're watching. If you don't know what you're watching, basically, um, I don't know, at this point. Um, As you can see, the payload is right there, and Case will have to move their payload to right there. It does go away, but I mean, like, they have to move their payload right right where I'm looking uh, to win the, uh, the map, making them have 2-1. But if Horlick does manage to push him back, definitely crazy there. It's definitely crazy if they can manage that. I'm going to switch over to uh, Pundud here. He does go McCree. Maybe to Ditto. Um, you know, I say Ditto a lot, but um, what it's a it's a reference to Pokemon where there's this Pokemon that um names Ditto that is basically a pink blob, and what it does is it could copy other Pokemon, it could transform into other Pokemon, but it's like a little false state of it. What I mean is what I mean by Ditto in this sense is that they're basically copying the other person, maybe to match up to them, maybe to keep a keep to keep it going. So here we go. Pandu is moving straight onto the point. Maybe he's moving left side just to make sure. He's moving absolutely fast up. So he's just checking around what's going on. It looks like, looks like everyone else. Critical hit does move down. He's just trying to see what, what what's the scope here. Kind of hiding down. He does get noticed though. He's just gonna have to move back with raided here. Does get as much heals as he can from that uh, the Moria all ball here. Oh, he m might have gotten the hook of Reinhardt has not. Uh, there it is. They're moving absolutely super close to that point there. And this is Horlick's desperate moments here. They're going to have to get uh, slamming onto the point. Critical Hits is looking around for his team. Trying to get the push down here. It looks like uh, Punju takes on Lodgy. Jojo Mac revives Mr. Smiley. Dine and Dust does go down here. So uh, this is definitely huge. There goes Mr. Smiley here. It's Mercy remaining, and that uh, somebody goes, and uh, I believe that that's the team kill. Not it's not the team kill there, but uh, Case does win that, win the map. So absolute, absolute. I mean, it was clean. The execution was clean and all that. So I'm going about to change the score right here. Play of the game goes to Wildcard, actually, as Diva. It's crazy. I think it was the Diva Bomb. Yeah, definitely it was the Diva Bomb here. What the heck? And yeah, the Diva Bomb that goes down eliminates one person. So we will be going on to Assaults next. What Assaults is, it's, um, it's two points within a map. It's two points within a map, so two points within a map. Yes, Fire Tender Heart, nice job, Legends. I see you there. Thank you for the little little moral booster for Case Legends. Anyways, uh, assault is attempt to uh, attackers attempt to capture um, various points of the map. It's basically two. 
one uh one is uh you know a lot closer to um the spawn of uh, attackers and uh farther away from defender spawn so it's at the advantage of attackers but um but it's a lot easier to um it's a lot easier to defend as it, it's a bit more open area so um attackers try capturing the first point and then the second point is farther back and if attackers capture the first point they gain one point on the on the scoreboard and they then move on to the second point uh, to capture that if they capture both points they do get a win or not the win but they do get uh, two points on the scoreboard and if both teams get two points they um they go into overtime with the time left remaining that they had after capturing it um team with the most points does win the map so i play um, you guys want to stick around after after the match, or you want to stick around for the whole thing, whole shebang, because we are having interviews with uh, Horlick and Casey yet again, you know, for a homecoming night. But but before that, I'm gonna be announcing the Spirit Week. You guys definitely want to see that, and it looks like um, looks like they are going in right now, and they go to Horizon Lunar Colony. Wow, that's actually that's a bit surprising on my part. The map is rarely picked. And the map does get initiated. So this is this is this is what I'm talking about. So this is the attacker spawn, I believe. Um, I believe Horlick is attacking at the moment. So what they do is they go from here. You know, they go. Uh, this is the main path. You know, they go straight over here. This is the first point they have to capture. Uh, right here. So this is the first defense. Then, then they have to move on over to the last point here, which is a little ways from first point. As you can see, Case team is leaving it. This is the uh, last point, second point, and uh, you have to capture it. Defend defender spawn is generally very, very close to um, very close to uh, very close to the second point so it makes it a lot harder for attackers meaning they have to uh you know do as best as they can uh, critical hit trying to message somebody you know i don't know what he's trying to do here looks like the attackers are uh, incoming right now pundu does go his uh bastion here he does a lot of um there's a lot of um good bastion plays here Ooh, Vitamin Dust and uh, Mr. Smiley and do go down. Jojo back and Monk33 go down, but Vitamin Dust does take down Crazy Crafter. Uh, Inviting takes on Lodgy right here, so I mean, that was an absolute crazy dive there. I, I'm sorry I missed that, guys. But that was an absolute crazy, uh, crazy dive right there. So um, that was an unsuccessful dive from Horlick, and looks like they are going back on it again. Need to dive straight into it. They definitely stepped up their game from Wednesday. Wednesday's match, so it looks like uh, it looks like Invited does see them. And there, there it is. Pond dude and uh, Critical Hitter absolutely ripping through. Monk thirty three does go down. Invited does take down Vitamin Dust, and the teleporter pad could not be reached. Looks like uh, Horley tried doing a teledive here, so that's why they managed to get on that point so quickly. I'm tired guys What time do you guys go to bed? If you don't want to answer it's fine There you go Oh Baptiste all goes home Critical hit raided Oh a lot of Wow that was Wow Wow That was quick The Baptiste ult comes out for uh, critical hit and pun due to be able to use it effectively Um, Absolutely rips Absolutely rips with that shield Absolutely rips through the shields there, as you guys could uh, could tell. So here's the first clash you guys guys see. It looks like they're moving left side. Looks like uh, Sigma has moved in their shield pretty far up. 
Looks like uh, they've seen to be moving left side, and looks like they're diving straight left side. So uh, we're gonna have to change the uh, the direction of what they're doing. Jojo Mac does get uh, ult along with Monk Thirty Three. Critical hits almost close to ult, but along with Rated and Invited. So there's the dive on to Case's back line right there. Looks like Sigma ult does go down from Invited. It doesn't do a lot. Looks like a uh, Jojo Mac or Jojo or Logi actually gets on the point, but you know gets hunted down and killed by Crazy Crafter. Rated. It's another team kill. So, um, looks like Case is doing an absolute excellent job at, uh, keeping everyone off here. So, uh, it looks like Horlick is attempting to dive left side yet again. I don't know, critical hit, critical hit my bongo here. Logi does take down M the man as Baptiste, so definitely critical hit just m falls back onto the point. It looks like a Vitamin has turned up to uh, Vitamin does turns to uh, Genji to take down uh, Pun Dude and critical hit here. Um, looks like Rated is still on the point for health. He does take him down by a wild card. Invited does go down. It doesn't doesn't look like anyone's still on the point anymore. So definitely, let me get in there. Uh, invited. I could not move out of that corner. It looks like you were really like cornered there. So critical and Bundu do set up in the back line, holding on to the bongo. Or what bongo does is basically a giant damage boost to everyone in the vicinity that's not blocked by a wall. So it looks like critical hit and Pandu are continuously bringing uh, a lot of a lot of pain and. Pride and pain down there. And looks like it looks like Horlick's moving left side, the downside. Looks like Logic three, and it looks like they dived to the bunker here, so uh, they'd have to fall back on that bunker there. Was, Pundu does go down, and the man is being pressured here. Does jump up. Vitamin does does take invited in Pundu. Rated to get a three k on everybody there. Does have a lot of damage. It looks like uh, all that's left is Baby Diva here, which goes down to Rated, along with Monk 33. Rated absolutely popped off there. Did an excellent, excellent job at um, excellent job at doing that. M the man looks a bit, looks a bit confused here. But uh, definitely is healing. Looks like looks like Invited is pushed up here, doing a lot of pushing here. Looks like they've gone down downstairs. And there goes the Sigma ult, making sure that no one can get past it. It does get wild card and her mech. They definitely got, got on the point. It looks like um, Logi3 does go down to Raided. Pundu takes down uh, Mr. Smiley here. Monk33 is very close to death here. Does get killed by a critical hit. Case is doing an absolute amazing job right here to take down a lot of the people. Vite is just doing a bit of backwards movement. Wow, he memorized his map. So invite is throw the rock there just to get a feel and damage, you know. 60 seconds remaining, so Warlick like is gonna have to do some dash around. They keep going down there. I mean, it's getting predictable at this point. The diva dive straight here. Logi does take down Crazy Crafter, but Logi. That sounds like a uh, uh, vitamin does to use Dragon Blade. Wow, it goes M the man goes down, Logi gets taken down by uh radiated critical hit takes down vitamin dust. Monk 33 might go down here. Baby Diva is just dancing around. It looks like 30 seconds remaining because Pandu does take down Wildcard and Monk 33 as uh as um McCree gets off the bastion here. He throws the rock trying to get someone, but it looks like Hammond and Tracer are going to be going straight on here. 10 seconds remaining. They're going to have to get on that point really quick right there, and they see that they go straight main here. Looks like, um, looks like Baptiste Old does come down from K's side. Uh, Coles is from, um, <coughs> Holic side, but it's doing a lot of that. There comes the Bongos there, doing absolute lot of damage here. Uh, Jojo Mac does go to a Pondood, Wildcard, uh, and Vitamin does go to into Pondood, using the ult from Critical Hit. Absolute crazy here. So um, Case does take. Uh, Case does manage to fend them off. 
but they did capture first point, so it is 0-1, and they are currently switching sides. What am I looking at? Whoa. Ah, that was, that was weird, guys. Anyways. We're just, we're just chilling around here. We're just waiting for them to spawn in so I could go spectate a person. Uh-oh. This is, this is not that easy. Let's, uh, let's move on to the, you know, main room here. Rated. It looks like they're going on the attack here. Rated those go some intro so they can get the dive here. Uh, Pundit does go um, Doomfist here. It's a really rare pick for him. Invited as his uh, signature Reinhardt. Critical hat is Zarya here. And the crazy character as the my team is Puggers. You guys for Horlick? QT, are you for Horlick? Yeah, I think you're for Horlick. I mean, they are pretty Poggers. An absolute great community, a great team, a great high school. Definitely cases along along the great lines with Horlick here. It looks like the teledive is being used right here. It looks like the teledive is being, you know, used very, very efficiently here. It's just trying to get a good pick here with that. There goes the teledive. Looks like it. Oh, it gets destroyed right away. So they're being um. Uh, crazy character does go down to the onside there. Rated about to go down. Rated does indeed go down. So critical hit. Beep on boo. Pun dude and invited are right there. Absolute. They have to move. They have to move back here. Wow, that that Horlick is looking very Im menacing and imposing there. Fire strike does come down and doesn't do much. Teleport is created by Raided, so they dive straight under that. So they move straight onto the point. Um, only meant to be behind from the um, Wellick team here, but do get an anti nade Pundu does take down Wild Card. Um, Monk 33 takes down Crazy Crafter though. Critical Hit's gonna have to move behind behind this wall to keep it. Pundu takes down both Monk 33 and Mr. Smiley here. Looks like getting heals from uh, M the Men. Doing a lot of damage to Vitamin Dust. Vitamin Dust does go down. Rated does take down both Longi 3 and Vitamin Dust. Uh, Invited takes down one turret and the first point does go down. They have five and a half minutes to capture that point. The, the second point. And the men does have Coalescence already. So we can see here, Invited and um, Critical Hit are just uh, getting, a, getting, you know, getting ready for the Clash here. Just checking out the damage. Pondu looks like to be going aside, maybe right side. Pond, uh, Vitamin Dust is taking quite a bit of damage here, but gets healed back right up there. Looks like um, looks like they're going to be dead from below. Orbit Discord does get uh, sense to uh, critical or er, critical hit side. It looks like they all dropped down. It looks like um, gets slept here. They are cornered here. It was a death trap. But they see nine, and Case does win without the noticing. So Case does go three one. <laughs> that, was a, that was cheeky there. I didn't even see that was happening. Play the game goes to rated junk rat. I believe it was the um, defense point here. As you can see, there goes the rip tire to bring a lot of massive damage here. Then uh, he drops down. He takes another person out. He gets uh, monk thirty three, and then he goes for the um, tracer kill right there at the end. Uh, so with that, I think they are going back into control here. So let me, uh, they are going back to control. <laughs> Fiery tender heart. I'm super sorry you can't spam the caps. You know, no cap spam. <laughs> so um, control. Both teams attempt to secure the objective, similar to King of the Hill, or they might be done for tonight. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're playing one more. Oh, they are saying GG's in the chat, so I mean, they could be done for the night. Yeah, it looks like they are leaving. It looks like uh, we are not getting a third match. <laughs> um, 
Looks like uh, we were supposed to play one more, but um, unfortunately, fortunately they leave. Okay, let me just go message them myself using the powers of messenger. One more people. Can't see anything. One more people. Why do you need to deploy at five? Um. I don't know. It looks like um. Looks like they're questioning why we need to play five. I mean, definitely um. For homecoming games, yeah, we do need to play five. Just uh, I'll flash up a little view right back. No, actually, you know, I haven't plugged in Smash at all. Let me just do a little plug in. <coughs> that bit epic music there. Um, they played Appleton East last week or this this week Tuesday. Uh, I believe they won. That's a great. Um, they play Union Grove next week Tuesday. Park, Bayport, Horlick, Wilmot, and then Arrowhead all in the next couple of weeks on Tuesdays. If you want to check them out, they're at this channel. Play streaming from 4 to 6. Uh, next, we do have Duke Smash, which plays Thursdays. They play, they played um, Jefferson, which I believe they also won. Next week, they next week they play Bigfoot, then Muskego, Arrowhead B, Royal Virtual, Fox Valley A, and Port Washington. All in the next next weeks on Thursdays. So if you guys want to, you know, hop on them, definitely want to give them a, a, your support. Other than you know, Overwatch. Um, let me go show it. It looks like they're doing Elios for um, control map. So uh, definitely that. <clears throat> Should I go to local? No. Let me go check if they added anybody new. Looks like they added Mighty Pants as their tank. Let me just uh, roll her up over here. Mickey Rodriguez plays a lot of pop. Plays Devo, Roadhog, and Sigma. Definitely crazy. A crazy player. Uh, one of my personal friends. Definitely. So let's um let's see who else is there. Maybe some new players. It looks like they're all uh, old players. Illuminati. Looks like we actually covered everyone. <laughs> Looks like a uh, case does have a top top white uh top five hundred player. I wonder who's that. Maybe Pond Dude, because just to be honest, guys, he's absolutely crazy. Um, I know. Let's go chill out with the. Uh, let's go chill with some music here. Um, we're just waiting just a bit for the uh, Overwatch team to you know get it all. Get it all, get it all going in here. Oh, if you guys want to play six, I'll join. Looks like their coach would like to join, but um. Okay, I need to reach out to Case. It looks like they are ready, so. Are they ready, kids? Um, after this, I will see you guys. Alright, guys. No, I mean, like, I'm just waiting for the match to start. This chilling music. And it does look like we are going into the match here, so. Let me just go slash that up. We are back on Elios for, uh, for the last match of today's night. You want to stick around because we do have um, interviews. With we do have uh, getting. We are getting interviews from uh, Horlick and Case's side. So you want to do that. But uh, right before that, I'm going to be announcing our Spirit Week. Definitely a uh, Case's Spirit Week. Definitely a Pog moment. I mean, for the 16 people watching, that is a Pog moment for you guys. I mean, some of you are Horlick, but come on now. 
That's a roll up here. Uh, Ilios is like a, a Greek map looking. Definitely Greek. You could definitely see the uh, the Roman statue over here. I believe it's Roman. So I mean, the Greek Roman times. That looks obviously pog. <laughs> um, looks like they want to face us Nuno. You know, that's absolutely pog. Looks like uh, you know, they actually are down for Uno. So. No Mario Party over to Overwatch. <laughs> Looks like they're oh, getting custom games here. Let's uh, expect to M the man here. Just trying to check out the scopes here. Looks like, let's, you know, let's go to Raid. You know, haven't done a lot of work to get spectating. Actually, Ariel J, because she's a tracer and I'm trying to learn some tips here. So, definitely doing a lot of poking damage here. Looks like Vitamin Dust might be going down here, but does get the shield and uh, gets. Slams Aer Aerial J here. Critical hit does hook a uh, Blodgy. Looks like a uh, Horlick does capture the point here. So definitely uh, there. Looks like Vitamin does get a uh, oh almost gets one clipped here. Vitamin does go to down. And uh, he's just trying to figure out where it's happening here. Looks like um Winston is uh, Winston from Horlick's side. Monk 33 does go down. Uh, Case captures the point quite quickly after that. And there's just a chill, chill sash here, guys. We got chill sash here. Looks like, um, and the man does get coalescence ready here. Guys, I'm hungry. But, anyways, it looks like 133 is getting sent here, but takes primal rage to save himself. It looks like Diva Bomb, maybe. No, but it looks like uh, Logi uses a uh, pulse bomb here, but doesn't get anything. Looks like Logi's dead here. Logi does get taken out while Raid does use Death Blossom. Looks like um, looks like Crazy Crafter uses the um the rally here. Wildcard does go down after the rally, and along with Ariel J taking Mon Monk Monkey, or er, Monk Mo Monk Thirty Three, not Monkey Monkey. Enemy's been called over there. Definitely a great cover day, but um, a lot of shield here, an extra shield here for everybody. And the whole hog is being held on to a critical hit. He definitely just wants Aerial J does take down Vitamin Dust. Mr. Smiley takes down Crazy Crafter here. Looks like a proxy mines do go down as soon as they're used. Mr. Smiley does go down here. Aerial J takes down Mr. S uh, Wildcard here. Mo oh, yikes. Um, th there goes Jojo Mac. Looks looks like <coughs> Logi does get hit off the or pushed off the map there by a critical hit. Uh, whole hog there. I'm um, sorry if I'm being a little um, quiet. My baby was sleeping. I got you know, got bait him. Or not bait him, but you know, respect the uh, respect us. You know, the silence here. <sighs> so critical hit does get a hook on her. Actually, Mark 33 is amazing here. Looks like a trans uh. Uh, Zen Ult comes out. I keep forgetting what Zen Ult's name is, but uh, Zen Ult did a lot of healing. It looks like Monk 33 does get it, but gets stunned and uh, hooked and killed it right there. Mr. Smiley does go down to Mighty Pants, ready to take down Vitamin Dust. It goes into overtime. Uh, he's just looking around. Wow, Critical Hits just checking out checking out the specs. The beat goes down, down from Holic's side. Critical Hits just admiring the, the chaos here. And an yeah, advocate of the chaos. Wow, he misses the headshot hook here, but a uh, vitamin does does take him down or gets taken down. Crazy Crafter takes down Logi and uh, vitamin does there. Mr. Smiley does go down to raid it. It's Death Blossom, and the point does go to Case Legends. So viewers, how how is it going? How are you guys how are you guys doing? Good night, bad night, so night. Excellent. It's great to hear, Fiery. It's great to hear. When you don't save big money when you shop at Menards, <laughs> Monk33 is having a impossible. It's impossible for you guys to not save big money when it's uh, going to Menards. <laughs> Invited works at Menards, really? I didn't know that. Alright, and you, you probably save big money then. <laughs> uh, I, I obviously really love Horlick. Horlick is amazing. A great team to play against, a great school. Looks like, here's the initial clash here. 
Looks like Horlick is going behind if I could tell here. Well, let's uh, do a little laundry here. It's absolutely crazy. In fact, it says I wish, but um, <laughs> this has gone off topic, you know. I make small money. That's how it is. It looks like um, the objective goes to K. No. I don't know. Rated and crazy character go down to Logi 30 or Logi 3 or Logi LL. Oh, Ariel J just gets a little pistol 180 whipped here. Mighty Pants does go down, and uh, it looks like Horlick has captured the point for a second half of Elias here. Critical Hit's about to go down, but you know, doesn't be able to, isn't able to, uh, to get the finish in here. Critical Hit takes on Vitamin Dust, Logi takes on Critical Hit, so there's a little trade there. But, uh, a bit, a bit, mm, I don't know, uh, is that a fair trade, guys? I don't know. Oh, Logi does get the high noon, but, uh, isn't able to finish off Raided there, to get pushed back. He's slamming the high noon, Mighty Pants is just, uh, holding up that shield there. A waste of a high noon. Definitely zones the mo. Aerial does go down to Vitamin Dust here. Vitamin Dust is doing an amazing job at, um, at, uh, you know, getting, uh, playing, uh, Doomfist here. Stuttering a lot, of people. Uh, case case is taking a lot of da onslaught here. You know, Logi's doing absolutely crazy with keeping that damage going. Looks like a Holic is 46%. Vitamin Dust is using Meteor Strike here, so he's just uh, making sure he's pushing everyone back. He does get nobody here, but uh, Jojo Mac and Monk 33 are holding their ults. Critical Hit Ariel J do have their ults here. Critical Hit does take Vitamin Dust down. Looks like but Ariel J keeps on getting, you know, stunned there. Looks like uh, and the man takes down Mighty Pants takes down herself and Mr. Smiley has a bang. Uh, and the man does take down Logi here. Critical, <laughs> oh, critical hit does get pushed down from Monk Thirty One. Respect the King's team captain here. It looks like um, Mighty Man does take down straight away. Crazy Capture is desperately staying on the point along with Ariel J here. C Crazy Capture go does it does go down. It looks like we are. <laughs> pronouns. Um, case does go down to the onslaught. Logi three takes down Ariel J along with Hammond on the crazy character, I believe. Rated is holding a death blossom here. He does bait it. He, you know, baits a lot of the cooldowns. So the critical hit does go down, and the beak does go down. Rated, rated critical hit takes the team kill right there. Absolute crazy there. So, um, Case High School does take a lot of, uh, take that entire team down. It's really great to see that. Horlick is proving a difficult enemy for Case here. Looks like, uh, Winston versus, uh, Reaper here is not a fair matchup as Reaper could heal from every shot. So, um, that's, he is called the tank killer for a reason, that's why. Because he could do more damage output than them, and heal more than them. So, there goes Raided, but he does get stunned, a little ballsy move here. Aerial J does take down Laji in that follow-up, though. Looks like Wildcard is being booted back, and they cannot get to the point. Looks like Winston, uh, Felix Winston has jumped straight on the point, does put Primal Rage here, crazy character. Looks like, um... Looks like a proxy mine zoo go down, but Mighty Pants does take down Mr. Smiley. Uh, Monkey takes down Mighty Pants and Ariel J. Looks like a uh, yikes! Crazy character does go down to the um, meteor strike. It looks like a critical hit cannot get the logic does get eliminated by. Uh, ah, it's a lot. Rated is doing his best to stay on the point. You know, it's one three, but he does go down, and it goes though to um, Horlick, and it looks like Horlick does take that map right there. That was absolutely crazy. I enjoyed that. That was a really good round there. Looks like that we are going into a 1-1. So whoever wins this match does win it all. Does win it all, people. I mean, Case case has already won, but we play five maps. Just, you know, five maps it, you know, for the content. Content boys. And girls. And they're girls in the audience. Uh, or they. Yeah, I'm just going to stop talking here. Uh, let's, let's spectate, um, guys, choose a number between 1 and 12, people. Chat, 1 and 12. 1 and 12, some people, chat. 
Doesn't seem like any numbers are coming. Let's just spectate Ariel J as we're already on her. Absolute crazy ash, honestly. Um, that's somewhat close. Oh, oh, somewhat close friend to me. Just uh, putting a little dynamite there, so you know, keep make sure that back line does get in. Looks like um, Monkey Boy gets super launched. So uh, Ariel Ariel J does get uh, stunned there by Lodgy, but Lodgy cannot finish it off there. Looks like the objective goes to, uh, it looks like it's going to Horlick. Lodgy, or Vitamin does take down both Rated and Aerial J. Lodgy. Dude, no one alive. Yikes. Come on. Looks like we're back to spectating Horlick here. Spectate wild card. He's an absolute crazy ham here. Four. Looks like we're spectating four. And looks like we're spectating crazy craft rage trees. Thank you for the input there. Making sure he gets everyone up to speed here. Now everyone is speeded. Crazy Crafter is doing a lot of uh, a lot of support here. He's healing and speeding everyone up so they can get on the point faster. Wildcard does take down Ariel J, but uh, Rated takes down Jojo Mac. Uh, critical hit takes down Lodge three, Log Logi. I don't know. At some point, I just can't play. Coalescence does come out from End the Man. Uh, Ariel J does may come back here. Uh, a lot is happening there. It looks like a, it looks like Case is stalling for time. It looks like Mr. Smiley does get booted off into the middle map here. It looks like a crazy crowd has to move back. Actually slams him so straight into that. It looks like he already gets beat for uh, the healing here. Not really nothing he should uh, be able to do here. It looks like Horlick is taking taking 60% off that. Case is gonna have to get on there quickish. I also lo really love Lucio just for the uh, the music, the music that he produces from his gun. Like who hasn't thought of having a dudstead? Looks like everyone's going in. It looks like uh, there goes Lucio alt here. It gives the beat. It gives everyone the uh, everyone that case the health. Looks like Monkey Boy almost gets booped out, but he uh, you know. Lodge 3 takes down Raid, Aerial takes down Jojo Mac, and Critical Hit takes down Vitamin Dust. Lodge 3 does take on the High Noon, but doesn't get anyone here, but does pu uh, push out everyone. Um, looks like a Monkey Boy is being uh, taken down here. Monkey 33 does take down Bob, does come out. Critical Hit does use Whole, whole Hawk to take down everyone. And it does go to um, does go to Case. Uh, I don't want to talk about what Wildcard just did there. He kind of just um, you know, played golf with himself. Ball means Hammond, if you're wondering. You just have to be bopping. This Lucio music is bopping. He reset. Ah, oh, he resetted. So it looks like everyone is, uh, Lodge 3 takes down, um, Aerial J. Critical hit takes down Lodge 3. Raid takes down Wildcard using alt here. Tactical reset, yeah. Uh, there you go, it looks like a Mr. Smiley does go down to Critical Hit's famous hook there. Vitamin does take down Rated and it looks like Crazy Capture is moving uh, uh Critical Hit takes down Jojo Mac while Vitamin does, uh, takes down Rated here. So uh, they are successful in fending off the attack that is case for the time being. Oh, spectator, um, not vitamin. You know, Mr. Smiley. Let's another healer. We don't get enough healers the love they need and necessary. Ana's a really hard player to play. It looks like Lodge. Th uh, Lodge. Well, I'm gonna call him Log. Uh, Lodge. Because uh, that's how I that's how I say it. Apparently, takes down Aerial J. Monk 33 takes down Raided with Monkey All. Lodge. Th Lodge 3 takes down Critical Hit. Uh, Lodge 3 does take down Crazy Crafter. Mr. Smiley goes down to M the Man. Mighty Pants has changed to Zarya. Looks like they're gonna capture the point. Looks like Meteor Strike does go down. Takes a lot of damage. It looks like the High Noon goes down. And it looks like Horlick wins the final match of the thing, but not the entire war. A GG's in the chat for Horlick and Case match. Horlick does take the. Er, not Horlick. Case does take it down. What? He's just in chat. Wow, that's that's a really cool one. It looks like a it looks like the um, monkey from Hortlick, Monk Three, Monk Thirty Three, gets raided. And, you know, the monkey all pushes off a lot of people there, so definitely a win here. 
Uh, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go roll up into the uh, the tonk shop here. You know. And now uh, I'm gonna go pull in some characters of a uh, questioning interview. Actually, I'm not gonna be in the talk shop. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be announcing our homecoming spirit week right now. So, what you wanted, guys? Uh, what you guys wanted to see for a very long time? I'm betting is our spirit week. So we are gonna be rolling into spirit week. It looks like Monday we're wearing classy colors. So freshmen use uh, white, white. Sophomores use gold, yellow. Juniors use green, and seniors use black. Tuesday is safari day. Uh, we do not do anything Wednesday, but uh, Thursday is Fashion Disaster, and Friday is Flannel Day. That's that's interesting. I'm 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 a class color, not classic. <laughs> uh, I'm really I'm a bit I'm I you know get mixed up there. That's basically all we have. Um, I don't know what's happening with home homecoming court. Uh, I was said to not do that since there's a bit of problems with that. So use the um, student council percents, of course. Definitely. These are our spirit days. It's also posted on their social media at um on Instagram at Stu S T U Co. K Stu Co, I believe. Or it's just yeah. If you want to come hit a follow over there guys. I'm gonna be going back straight to the talk shop and we secure secure us a um a interview with uh interview with uh Orlick here. So you're just gonna enjoy the music here. Whoa, big me guys. Alright, looks like I'm gonna be calling in. Oh, uh, definitely gonna get the voice call in. Can we just turn on the music just a hot bit? Yo. Hello, Vitamin Dust. Hello. Hello, Monk33. Monkey. It's monkey. monkey. It's Monkey. Oh, no. I've been saying Monk33 for almost the entire match. Hello. Oh, uh, dude, that's fine. <laughs> Hello. What is is it Lodge 3? Is it Lodge 3? Logie. 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 Oh, sorry. it's Logie. Oh, no. I've been saying Lodge 3, Logie. <laughs> Oh no, I've been saying it all wrong. The price to pay for weird names. Yeah, it's a price to pay. I should have asked for uh, pronunciations. Dang. Uh, so I'm um, I'm currently alone. My uh my uh, partner could not make it today. That's fine. Yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, it is unfortunate. Really sad here. But um, uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys. You guys actually played way way better than you did on Wednesday. You know, I wanted to compliment you. you on that. You guys have definitely yeah, like. Thanks. I want to know what your training regimen was. Like, did you spend all day Thursday just slamming the the grind? Honestly, most of the training was today. <laughs> yeah. <What? laughs> today, Yesterday really? Yesterday was kind of like a little bit of a break. You know, it was like a little breather day. And then today we just kind of went back to the VOD, reviewed it. Uh, yeah, we had to, to get you. super self-critical to you. Yeah. We got really into the nitty gritty and yeah. talked about it what needed to change and what we could keep yeah i did uh yeah. i did hear that it's a little bit of training on primal rage mechanics yeah. yeah everyone trained on their personal stuff and then we trained on what we needed to do as a team yeah to work better monk 33 i wanted to talk about that play of the game on elios <laughs> that was that was funny i, I see everyone up oh. <sighs> it's fine dude monkey there you go sorry yeah. <laughs> monkey i wanted to talk about that play of the game uh, yeah, I, I was I was pretty good. Definitely, definitely yeah. a banger there. Yeah. You got everyone pushed off there. You, I, I just, you know, I don't know what, but it's really satisfying when you get the primal rage and you just start pooping oh, everyone yeah. off. Yeah, it's, it's even more satisfying because like a lot of people they don't see primal rage as like a big ult. Like when people think of big ults, they think of like blade blossom or like diva bomb. But like, yeah, you can still pop off with primal rage. Yeah, I definitely get it. I don't really know that. I know where you're coming from there. Um, yeah, also, Lajai, Laji, Loji, Loji, Logi, Logi. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Logi, I wanted to talk to you. You guys were, <clears throat> you did a really good job at taking down um, Ariel J, the tracer on Elios. You, get, <clears throat> you stunned her whenever you saw her and insta dinked her. 
So I wanted to know, like, were you, how how much practice did you have to, like, reactive, like, training? Hmm. Uh, lots of Kovacs. What's, up? What's that? That's an aim trainer I used. Did they, did and I also, do? there's, like, workshop maps I used where you can uh, practice, like, flashing Tracer and just getting flick headshots. Oh, really? That's crazy. I should, yep, t I should take I that did. up. Uh, yeah, I do about, like, 30 minutes uh, of Kovacs aim trainer, which is $10 on Steam. And then, yeah, that's like my warm up, thirty minutes, and I do thirty minutes after I get off of Overwatch. Yeah, it's a pretty good way to improve your aim. Oh wow, thank you, thank you for the tip. You know, for the viewers that want to get good at, you know, make McCree, if we want to yep. get there. Um, I had some technical difficulties for most of your second map, or yeah, uh, second sadly. map. Yeah, sadly, I don't know what happened. I, my my Overwatch just decided to to br boot me out, saying I couldn't connect, and then. Then froze my entire computer, stream died, yeah, it was crazy and all that good stuff. Well, not so good stuff, it's the bad stuff, but <laughs> Vitamin Dust, you played very well on Doomfist, I, as I observed while talking rapidly. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I, I want to know, because Doomfist seems like, like the most, like, it's, it, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say the funnest, um, um, the most, um, the bit, uh, I don't know. I'm stuttering. Funnest. The <laughs> funnest. funnest. We're using funnest. Yeah. <laughs> the funnest um, character. I mean, exciting. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. Yeah, that's a better word. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I mean, Doom. Doom's pretty fun, but Doom takes. It's weird with him because he's easy in some aspects, as he has that uh, rocket punch that he can just kill half the roster in one hit. And then there's also like seismic slam uppercut. Where you need to have positioning and discipline on when you're gonna do it. Yep. And Doomfist really excels with certain other comps and stuff, and he also excels against a lot of comps and stuff. So you could say he's overpowered in some aspects, but I mean, you just need one character to shut him down completely from ever existing in the match. So it's he's really weird. Uh, you definitely need to play around him. When you're uh, yeah. when he's on your team, yeah. uh, he's really he's just he's a hero. That's like <laughs> he's he's something. <laughs> he's just something if you could get good at him. Yeah. Well, time presses. So sorry for the, such a short interview, but you guys played pretty long. Thank so, you. Yeah, yeah was, I mean, it was like, a fun yeah. match. Yeah, like came on Nubani, like that was, was crazy really long. Close. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Nubani was crazy long. When I saw it was six six six, I was like, wait a sec, they're in second overtime. Yeah, it was <laughs> later. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, Nubani crazy long. You guys played uh you guys played absolutely crazy today. Thank you for coming out again to face us. Thank you for having <laughs> us. Yeah, thank you for uh, having us tonight for the game. Uh, this is Corlick High School. This is Vitamin Dust, Monkey, and Logi. On point. Anyways, thank you for coming out, guys. Have a good night. You too. You too. Yeah. Alright, guys. I'm going to be popping into uh, Shoutcast Overwatch. Alright, so we will be getting uh, Dominic in. Hello, Dominic. He's our invited. Hello. You're a bit loud. Why was he? And we have uh, our uh, Cases team captain, M Emily, or M the Man, in here for today. Just wanted to congratulate you guys on your performance for beating Horlick yet again. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, this is going to be a short one since I don't have my partner, Bryce, here for the analytics. I'm just going to talk about how you guys are feeling. Like, how, how'd you feel? Uh, especially on Nubani. That match went crazy long. Dude, that was I a 30 minute match. So th I know. That it was, was a ridiculous. You guys kept that match for the entire time I had technical problems. I'm still surprised that we were still on Nubani. So, yeah. Yeah, I was going crazy. Yeah, I wanted to talk about Elios, the, the back and forth battle there. It's definitely, uh, you definitely guys had a lot of ground control in the first, the first point, and then the last two points, guys, you know, kind of gripped it out. Like, um, uh, you know. I heard you, uh, I mean, you guys did beat him, uh, you guys did beat him, so I mean, it was a great, great thing to see, you know, coming from you guys. Played very well today. Um, I just wanted to know if you got any kind words for Horlick. Dominic, you wanna go first? No, uh, sure, uh, Horlick did really, they played really well, um, a lot, I wanna say a lot better than earlier this week. 
um, yeah, just keep up what they're doing. There you go. Here it is from Dominic. I... Emily? I thought they did great. They were really targeting me a lot, and I was like, oh my god, I can't do anything. The pressure. You know? Yeah, yeah I mean, they definitely know how to target people, because I was stuck in a corner for a while. Yeah, I saw I saw that you guys, I remember you typing in chat that you were just stuck in that corner after being pinned, uh, pinned on, uh, I think, Lunar Colony. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it was a great match to watch, you know. Um, you know, thank you, thank you for, you know, playing tonight, coming out, time presses, so, so I said it was going to be short. Anyways, uh, thank you, Dominic, Celeste, and, uh, or Celeste, uh, how do you say it? Celeste. Celeste, alright, and, uh, Emily Hutchinson, Hutch Hutchinson, Hutch Hutchinson, Hutchie? Hutchinson. Hutchinson, right? Yep. Alright, thank you for, uh, <laughs> standing the ordeals of my, um, my, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh uh, thank you for coming out, guys. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> you got to say it. <laughs> All right, see you. See you, bro. Yep. Um, that was Case versus Horlick homecoming match. If you guys want, again, I will be flashing up the. Uh, the let me just go find it real quick. Um, Spirit Week. Where's the Spirit Week? Where's the Spirit Week? I can't find the Spirit Week, people. I mean, the stream will be ending. I hope you guys had a good night tonight. Stay safe, you know. And uh, we'll be back. Uh, I will be back hopefully with my co-partner not my co-partner my partner on Wednesday for another Overwatch match remember to uh, tune in for Varsity Smash on Tuesday 4 to 6 and I uh, hope you guys have a good night